So Ayurveda is the Indian medicine. It's a holistic practice. And the Indian medicine developed just like the Chinese medicine many thousand years ago. The Ayurvedic medicine is actually the most ancient one that we have in the world. And it evolved simultaneously to the yogic philosophy, which is why they function so well together. We can sometimes say that yoga takes care of the physical aspects and Ayurveda takes care of the rest. Or we could also say that yoga is the spirit and Ayurveda is lifestyle. So when it comes to Ayurveda, what's really beneficial for us is that it bases itself on the law of nature. So I usually tell people that the same way that we, when we look at a beautiful flower, it's perfect the way it is. So are we as humans. We are born in full potential and throughout life we usually get out of whack a little bit because of, well, modern society basically. But if we can just find that balance again that we had when we were born, we can find that full potential. So each and every person in the world has a perfect constitution. And all we need to do when we're feeling out of balance is to find our way back to that balance again and we'll experience the perfect potential. Because Ayurveda is a holistic approach, it works on all layers at the same time. We base ourselves on, well, energetically, really, the five elements. Therefore, when we can feel imbalances, whether there are more mental, so we notice this in the way our mind goes, or emotional, we feel heavy in our hearts, we can adapt and balance out those more subtle bodies with really physical aspects based on the five elements. So we can adjust any type of imbalance that exists inside of us, whether it's physical, mental or emotional, by balancing the elements. When it comes to women, more specifically, we are living in a world today where our society pushes us to the limit constantly. Now, women feel this really strongly because we are very much already working on a cyclic level, on a monthly level, but then also in our life, as we go through different stages in our life, we can feel the imbalances in nature so much stronger. And because Ayurveda works on balancing out, just first of all on our nervous system level, really the dysregulated nervous system that's so common today, when we balance that out, what happens is that we also balance out what's so important for women, which is our hormonal levels. When we begin to balance out the hormonal levels, it's so beneficial for women. And I see everywhere I work with women that as soon as we begin to address the nervous system, we also address the hormonal imbalances and it brings so much benefit to women. The beautiful thing with Ayurveda is that it's really a practical approach. We use Ayurveda every day by simply living with the hours of the sun. So if someone would ask me what's the first thing to do in order to start living more according to Ayurveda, it would be to live with the sun, to get up before the sun gets up so that we're up when the sun gets up and then we go to bed when the sun is setting. We have our meals in the middle of the day ideally when the sun is at the highest. And just simple practical tools like this we begin to notice the benefits very fast.